Tesla recently announced the 2020 Plaid Model S powertrain update, and it'll be here in about a year. And there's very little details about the specs of this, but one of the things that I want to talk about today is could it possibly have over a 500 mile range? I'm Jonathan Stewart, and thanks for watching Cleaner Watt. So if you've been paying attention to the news, the new Plaid Model S hit the Nürburgring, and this Tesla Rati article talked about that with some basic pictures and a little bit about what we know about the Plaid Model S. Of course, you can see from the picture, there's a little bit different um, massive rear diffuser on the back. It's a little wider in its body. It's got a little bit different, different tires and wheels, and there's some things like that. We can see a little bit different spoiler. Obviously, there's some some things on the outside of the car that are different, but what about the inside of the vehicle? What's gonna be different about that? So to kind of sum up what, the, what we know about the Tesla Plaid update, we know that it is gonna have a three motor design. So think the, the Roadster, the Roadster coming out in a year or two is gonna have a three motor design. We know it's gonna have improved track performance. They're gonna use, I'm sure, similar learnings that they used on the Model 3 track mode. And I'm assuming it'll have new battery tech, and that's what really, we're really going to talk about in this video. And of course, there's the potential for the new body enhancements, as the prototype had several variations that they've done to help the aerodynamics and performance on the track. So where this all comes from, my whole theory about a 500 plus mile battery is based on Elon's response to Ryan who tweeted him and said, hey Elon, do you plan on using higher than current capacity battery packs for Plaid S and X? And Elon simply replied, yes. So they do plan on having a higher capacity pack for the Plaid Model S. This does make a lot of sense, of course, if you're on the track, you need a little bit more power because it does deplete the battery quicker if, than if you're just doing normal driving, obviously. And so if you're doing track driving, you need a large battery to be able to keep up the speed and do a lot of laps. And of course, this is going to be necessary. Now we know that they, when they've talked about the Roadster, they've talked about it having a 600 mile range. And before, that would could only really be achieved by having a 200 kilowatt hour battery. But we do know with all the efficiencies that Tesla has now done with the Model S, they can get 373 miles out of a 100 kilowatt hour pack. So just think about that for a minute and th think about what they're getting out of that. The efficiency is incredible. And the fact that they're going to have a bigger pack obviously means they're going to have more capacity, but how much? Now, there's a few things that I want to discuss that kind of support my theory in a 500 mile range vehicle. So first of all, obviously right now the 100 kilowatt pack, I'm sure that's getting close to the limit of what they can put in that vehicle. Maybe they could stretch a, a few more kilowatt hours out of it with their current tech that they're putting in the cars. But what if the Maxwell Technologies information that we're going to discuss in just a moment and the technologies they have would allow for higher density cells in the same footprint, meaning more capacity with the same size battery. Well, I believe there is room for more batteries, not in space, but in um, energy density. So there was a research paper put out by Maxwell before the Tesla acquisition. And in this scientific paper, there is one specific quote that I wanted to bring out that really supports the fact that there is definitely going to be higher capacity batteries with the technologies that Maxwell has. So you'll notice the quote there, and I'm not going to read the whole thing. You can read that yourself, and I'll, I'll leave the link to this paper in the description below. But you'll notice that that last sentence says, a lower charge transfer and contact resistance in the dry coated electrode offer higher energy density cell designs with improved power capability. And so these cells are going to be more energy dense, leading to more power in the same amount of space. Now, 
use this with a graphic that Maxwell put out. And this is kind of showing their timeline for their dry battery electrode and how this would allow them to have a higher capacity battery. So they, they mention here on this timeline that they have already demonstrated and it's complete the proof of concept for a 300 watt hour per kilogram battery. And they show there that in 2020, number two there, that they are gonna be able to, and they've, they've proven this path, to have over 350 watt hours per kilogram. And they have a path that they could even see in five plus years getting to 500 watt hours per kilogram. So this is from their website. And of course, this is not on there anymore because of the Tesla acquisition. But before then, this graphic was something that they put out showing where their battery technology was going. So you see there though, 300 watt hours per kilogram where they've proven it all already. And by 2020, they could have something around the 350 watt hours per kilogram. Now, if you look at this for a minute and you look at the fact that Tesla's current, current battery density based on inside EVs, I pulled this from an article that they put out, they estimated based on their calculations that Tesla's current energy density for their, their batteries on these 18650 cells, the ones used in the S and the X, are somewhere around 250 watt hours per kilogram. While that is very energy dense and very powerful and very amazing, if you can get to 300 immediately, of course, that's a great jump. And then if you have the path in, in 2020 to get to 350, that really changes the whole game. So what does this look like? So in the energy density timeline, if they were immediately able to take the Maxwell Technologies and immediately implement it that in the new Plaid Model S, at the bare minimum, that would allow for a 20% increase. By 2020, if they were able to hit somewhere around that 385 or even just around that 350, but we'll go off 385, which was on the graph, then that would be a 54% increase in the battery energy density. Now, what would this look like? A 20% increase on a 373-mile vehicle would equal a 445 mile range and so I think at the bare minimum we're gonna see close to that for the Plaid Model S but since they showed that in 2020 mid 2020 they should have the ability to have five 350 to 385 waters watt hours per kilogram meaning a 54% increase it's very possible they can have some somewhere around 570 mile range for the new Plaid Model S now this is be this would be an incredible game changer. This would completely blow away the competition. But of course, this would also be nice too because you know, you think about it for a minute. If you just added a bunch of batteries, the car would be heavier and would not be as good on the track. But if you can use the same weight of batteries that you have now and you can increase it 54% and have a 570 plus mile range, that changes the whole game. You can be on the track for a lot longer then of course you can take that same vehicle and comfortably take a long trip and not have to stop quite as often this would be an incredible thing and i think this timeline does make a lot of sense now the question here now is when is it coming out and how much will this cost this plaid model s and x will be their top variant it'll, it'll, i don't believe it'll be offered in you know all that the technology will not be offered the three motor technology and all, all that won't be offered in all the trims but that that top performance trim the plaid powertrain um in september elon musk said it was about a year away from production and that it will cost more than our current offerings but less than our competitors so we know it's about a year out and if you give a little extra time you could say very late 2020 so maybe around the, the fourth quarter of 2020, maybe late in the year, you should be seeing this come out. And it will cost more than our current offerings, so meaning more than the performance Model S, which is 99,000, but less than our competitors. And based on the recent news with the Porsche Taycan, I believe he's talking about the Porsche Taycan. 
of course the Tycon models and then the, the top Tycon model is $185,000 starting. We know that it will cost more than $99,000, which is what the current Raven Performance Model S cost, but less than $185,000 and it will, should be available sometime around late 2020. So this is going to be a game changer, I believe, no matter what happens, even if they just barely eclipse 400 mile range on the vehicle, it's going to be a great performing vehicle and it's going to really show the expertise and the technology that Tesla has. But if I'm correct and they're able to implement a lot more dense batteries than they currently have, somewhere around that 350 to 380 watt hours per kilogram, I think it would be pretty incredible to have a Model S that could be close to the, the Roadster's 600 plus mile range and something that could go on the track and perform pretty close to what the Roadster will be, but also you could take that same vehicle once again on a long road trip and comfortably fit you and your family. Of course, this is what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for them to just blow us away with the stats. And it's very possible we do have the the, the Tesla pickup tr Cybertruck um, unveiling on November 21st. And what if this was the plus one add-on at the end where they actually released details like this on the Plaid Model S? Well, at the end of the day, we'll see. Um, time will tell if this is correct, if I'm completely off. But do let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you think that the new Plaid Model S will have somewhere around a 500 mile range, or if you think it'll have less. And what other details do you think will be, um, will be laid out soon? And what do you predict for this vehicle? If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for watching.